All right, here we are at our 2017 Bentley Elite 223 Admiral SE Tritune for sale. We're here on the beautiful fresh waters of Norris Lake, Tennessee. This slip is available to transfer to the new owner if you do wish to keep it here on Norris. And it is sitting on a front mount boat lift. That would be uh, that will be offered available as an additional purchase if you're wanting the whole package. If you're someone on the Norris Lake area and you happen to be in the market for a boat lift, feel free to contact us through our website. Let us know you're interested in the lift and if this one, uh, if this boat sells without the lift, we can give you a call. As, all, as always, I'll refer you to our website, which is at www.yournewboat.com for the full list of specifications and features on this one, as well as the current asking price. We won't mention those in the video tours because they'll sometimes change until listing is sold. However, with the market as strong as it has been, we've not seen a lot of price reductions. These are usually selling pretty quick, especially a uh, clean one owner tritune like this one is right here. Yes, this is a one owner boat. This was purchased new in 2017. It's been here exclusively on Norris Lake ever since. And it's powered by a 150 horsepower Mercury four stroke outboard engine. There's no engine hour meter. However, those hours can be verified by a, any um, certified Mercury outboard dealer. And we're estimating those hours under 200 hours probably closer to the 150 range we've got 25 inch diameter pontoons we've got about uh, approximately two inch lifting strakes on each of the pontoons including your center pontoon if you're looking at tritunes that's a feature you're going to see listed it's basically those little it's almost like a little triangular piece near the uh, bottom corner of the pontoons. Those are going to give it a little bit more performance than what you would have if you were with uh, just a standard two pontoon boat. I believe this is all often referred to as a super tune. I'm not sure if you can tell in the video. We've got about a 15 foot long center pontoon. But it basically still functions like a like a tritune. And gives you gives you a really good value. We're here for our video walkthrough tour. Raise this gate up, step in. As you can see, we've got the luxury woven vinyl flooring throughout this one. This is the center walkthrough layout. You've got pop-up cleats up here at the at the bow. Another set of these that'll pop up near the stern. I've got the interior lights turned on right now. So, so the center walkthrough layout is basically going to put forward and rear facing lounge seats in both the, the bow and the stern. We've got these stainless cup holders throughout, basically a pair at each lounge seat. You've got another set near that center passenger captain's chair another stainless cup holder at your driver's seat it's going to give you two four six eight ten eleven of the stainless cup holders and then you've got another pair of cup holders here if you count this removable lounge table so a total of 13 that can come right out of that mount there and get stowed away if it's if you've got a maybe more active family and kids running around jumping on and off this also has the pop-up changing room, which is what you see that little handle for. That's on a shock system that's going to raise up. And then your actual changing room is on a frame right here. And let me show you how this works. We'll have photos of that, of the listing for this one at the website. You raise this bar up right here. That's also on another little gas shock. And then that frame will slide out and it inserts. You're going to have two bars that inserts into there. And then you're going to have basically the effects of that um, fold up changing room and by outfitting it the way that Bentley has on this particular model it takes up a little bit less space underneath the seats so what you end up with is you actually still have storage on the other side 
I'll be able to actually I'll be able to open that more fully when I close this. Stand by here. Lower that down. And then this seat's gonna fold right up here and still get a good little storage compartment there. That one's actually kind of nice because your things aren't gonna go to the bottom of that storage. Uh, might be a good spot for electronics, wallets, things like that. Your other still have um, under seat storage and all the rust, but they're gonna go all the way down. These are the roto molded plastic seat bases, I meaning there's no wood in this um, in any of this framework for your seats. And you're gonna have that throughout. It would be an example of that deeper storage pocket. And you got some required equipment for the boat in there, your fire extinguishers, first aid kit, things like that. So we've got three entry gates on this model. That means you can board off the port side, bow or the stern. This gate right back. And then you've got the the dual um, driver and passenger captain seats. And these are going to swivel. You've got the fold up armrest. They're going to recline. They'll slide a little bit forward, a little bit back. Um, and these also have a telescoping feature where you can raise it up. There it is. I don't know if you can see that one lift up a little bit. That's might be a, a neat feature. I don't think I've seen that yet on one, unless other boats I've, I've had have had them and I just hadn't paid any attention. So if I hold the camera back so you can actually kind of see this raise. So it might actually come into um, quite convenient feature for your driver. If you've got a crowded boat, you've got people sitting up here in front. Might be a very nice option to have. We've got a small little drive box here. We've got an integrated stereo on this one, USB and auxiliary input. Here's a 12 volt power outlet. Uh, this was originally designed to be a phone holder, a little bungee strap uh, kind of goes in behind this and, and you could rest your phone there and that can easily be replaced. That's just a, a simple strap going through those holes. You can access the back of this entire unit fairly easily. So, this is our uh, multi-function display by Simride. This is a large color display. Now, the screen that it's on right now is actually your uh, depth and fish finder. And we've got those, those bars because we're out of the water. So we're not gonna get a, um, an accurate reading with that. You've, you've, your audio controls are integrated within this uh, multi-function display. And you're gonna have several options here. Let me pull up our list. Here's our audio, well, maybe. Here we go. Um, FM, you can basically save your favorite stations there. This, yeah, here's our source. So you got AM, FM, you've got an iPod hookup. Not sure if this is reading or not, maybe. Uh, iPod hookup, USB, auxiliary input. Actually, you have two auxiliary inputs. You've got a, a microphone input and a Bluetooth and Pandora connections. So that's all integrated within this multi-function display. This is gonna have your, uh, your depth readings, your water temperature, your air temperature, GPS speeds, and all of those sorts, as well as a chart plotter. Let me exit the audio menu, get to the home screen here. So you've got three different integrated dash layouts within, actually I think there's four integrated dash layouts here. So this is where you've kind of got some gauges built in. You've got these different layouts, and of course you can customize these as well. You can get these to read out um, whichever gauges you like referencing the most. You're going to have live fuel economy information displayed on here. So that's often a popular screen where you can kind of see sometimes just a few RPMs will, will uh, greatly change your fuel efficiency. So to have a, a live reference point for that in any kind of cruising is always handy. Um, and then of course we had on, um, oh actually we think we had on this depth finder. That's that's where when we're out of the water, you're not gonna get a good clear view there. But you've also got the uh, chart plotter integrated. It's gonna have the, the map. And you can do, uh, oh, set your favorite spots, your waypoints and do uh, 
breadcrumbs and things like that to track where you where you've gone or where you've been. So a lot of a lot of fun stuff here with this little multifunction display. Um, and again, your audio is all integrated through there. You've got six total speakers on the boat. You've got two basically on the swim deck, and then four here um, in the interior. You got a pair underneath your front seats. I've got those LED interior lights turned on now, and then the same back here on your rear center walkthrough seats. Also have just your standard analog uh, speedometer. Again, GPS readout on your multifunction display and then a fuel gauge integrated here as well. So that's kind of all the goodies here at your uh, at your helm. And you would control these here as well. So there's that uh, driver's side cup holder. This one is rated for 15 uh, people. We've got a mooring cover. Bimini top is just kind of folded back in the storage boot just overhead. Um, that, you've got a umbrella mooring cover. The uh, Bentley Bimini top. I also want to point out you, you get a PTM edge rail mount rear view mirror and that will collapse for easy storage. And then going on back here to the back of the boat, we've got a Min Minkata digital onboard battery charger that's been added. Uh, oh, speaking of canvas covers, there's also an engine cover. And then here's your single battery. And again, storage under all these seats as well. Completing our visit to the back of the boat here. There's that center walkthrough gate. You've got ski tow bar mounted over top of that Mercury 150 horsepower four stroke outboard engine. Sea Star hydraulic steering. That is a 32 gallon onboard fuel tank. You've got the uh, dual swim boarding ladders. Those are four step swim boarding ladders, one on either side. And then here's these pop up cleats back here near the back of the boat and here's your exterior speakers back here near your swim platform as well so again we, we do invite you to visit the website for all the features sometimes we'll miss things in the video tour um, but to view the current ask a price, you have to go there. If, if you're a serious buyer, you've got questions on the boat, please take the time to open up a new tab or window. Type in yournewboat.com, hit enter. You'll see that orange lettering. That's how you like to let you know you're at the right place. That is our website where all of our inventory, inventory is kept up to date. And you'll be able to find this one there. You're not going to be overwhelmed. You're mostly looking at boats in the Norris Lake and surrounding areas. All you got to do is start, uh, hit the find your new boat button, start scrolling down. You'll see the 2017 Bentley Elite 223 Admiral SE Tri-Tune. You'll probably see a photo of it just outside this slip sitting in that water behind us there. Um, you'll see the asking price right there. And then, of course, you're going to see our contact information all over that page. You'll be able to reach out to us by phone, by text, or by email, whatever is most convenient for you. Here's a look at these 25-inch diameter pontoons. Do another walk around going up towards the front. Get a little bit of it. Oh, that's our leaving scratch right there. It's just rubbing right off. Take the bumper. Bumper probably just rubbed against it, made a little mark. Thought it was a scratch. Walk on up here near the front, kind of get a little bit up close and personal with it. We do have some LED docking lights. We also we function tested the navigation lights, the docking lights, and the horn. Everything passed function testing on this one. Uh, we've got a little bit of a of a mark here on this corner door and depending on how the light hits it you may or may not be able to see it it's kind of hid in there uh, a little bit of a ding coming from the inside and also i think i neglected to point this out earlier when i was showing you our uh, triple tunes up here you've got the aluminum underskin um, splash guard that actually helps reduce on a lot of wind drag And this one uh, reportedly runs in the low to mid 30, 30 miles an hour range with the light load. Um, we do have a, this is about the only thing I've noticed on this one, a little bit of a mark here in this front pontoon. That's a, that's a minor scratch. It um, obviously got near a dock here near the front. Of course, all this is up above the water line. And 
a little bit of wear on this rub rail. Um, and then I, we also noticed one other mark right here on this seat back right in here. And this might rub right off with the right cleaner. Can't quite tell if it's definitely no scratch or rips. There's a little bit of a, it's either a little bit of a scratch here and here, um, or it may just be some, something is on there and it just needs to be wiped off. But did notice that just on these seat backs. All the other vinyl looked good. We did not notice anything on our um, going through the boat. And one other little mark right here on about the middle of this pontoon, and that's truly really cosmetic. That one's not very deep at all. A uh, little bit of a rub rail use right in here. This guy's popping out just a little bit. And a few marks back here as we get near this back corner of the boat. Um, here's your bumper cap. It's got a few marks on it. That's going to start to wrap things up for us here today. Again, this has been the 2017 Bentley Elite 223 Admiral SE Tri-Tune for sale here on Norris Lake. Again, the slip is transferable if you want to keep it here. The lift can be purchased as an additional purchase. You can have this entire package. Uh, esti we've estimated that front mount lift right at about uh, probably about 4,500 pounds. Uh, that can be bought with it or we can just sell you the boat um, and, and if, um, if you're just interested in the boat we'll end up posting the lift separately so anybody that's looking for a front mount boat lift feel free to reach out to us we can put you on a list if this one sells without the lift we can make a deal happen and you'll see the yournewboat.com logo pop up in the top right hand corner of the screen and that is to be subscribed to our youtube channel if you want to kind of get a jump on seeing the uh, new listings when they hit the market as they come available that's probably the best way to do so and i thank you very much for joining us